Hey guys, it's Raphael, and here I have with me a, uh, a Black Heart Models Frankenstein um, wall hanger. Uh, so we are. I cleaned them up, uh, washed them with you know some soap, uh, and I will be primering him up, and uh, we'll give him a. Uh, the client wants a, a uh, translucency white color look, uh, similar to Mike Hill's uh, Frankenstein, uh, which is going to be kind of tricky because well Mike Hills was uh, silicone but we'll do our best as we can so we'll see what we can do amigos aquí tengo un Frankenstein uh, pueden conseguir en blackheartmodels.com uh, luego pongo el, el nombre uh, el cliente lo quiere medio pálido blanco uh, no sé si conocen a Mike Hill él hizo un Frankenstein bueno varios uh, que son medios pálidos, pero claro, él usa silicón, silicona. Entonces, este, vamos a ver si se puede hacer eso un poco. No va a ser tan fácil porque esto no es silicón. Pero en fin. So, let's get started. Okay, uh, so what I did, I primered it. Uh, I was thinking of doing it white, but I decided to go with this color. Just because this primer builds up. This is an automotive primer. It's called High Build Up Primer, which is pretty cool because, you know, any little scratches that you do, maybe with sanding, not on this guy, but in other things, it builds it up, so it hides all that stuff and it works great. Uh, you can also use regular, I want to use Krylon Primer, either white, black, or gray, which is good too. This is almost uh, primers que uso. Uh, pero en este usé, este, este que es de, de autos, uh, lo que... Lo que tiene este es que cuando lijan cosas, no este, pero otros proyectos que los lijan, este, con esto pueden um, aumentarle y tapar las, las, este, los, rasguños, los rasguños que son muy pequeños y eso es bueno también. Again, we're going to try to get them to look kind of like whitish translucent. Uh, un poco transparente. Va a ser un poco difícil porque este no es silicón. It's going to be a little tricky because and of course it's resin so I'm going to do the best I can so right now I'm just adding a kind of like a white off-white color which is a color blanco no blanco blanco pero color hueso casi más o menos I'm going in with a, some white poco de blanco Okay, I'm doing some modeling with the white. Estoy haciendo esas, las venitas con el color blanco. Okay, what I'm going to do is hit it with a little bit of uh, olive green, very lightly. Le voy a echar un poco de, de verde, olivo. Muy poquito, just lightly. And then go back with the modeling. I'm going in with a little bit of red. Very subtle. Going in with a little bit of blue. And I'm going to use white to mist it over. I'll use a little bit of black to mix it all. And I'm going in with some white and I'm just going to do some spatter. Why hacer puros puntitos con pintura blanca ahorita I'm throwing in a little bit red poquito de rojo también Oops some green un poco de verde I'm going in with the base color, uh, off white, un poco de blanco pero hueso. I'm going to start painting the hair just to get an idea of what it's looking like. Estoy pintando el pelo ahorita no para agarrar una idea como se va viendo. with a little purple, poquito de morado. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just dry brushing some dirt. Estoy poniendo así como tierra. Eh, no, no es tierra, pero. Okay, we decided to make this different than your other ones that are out there. Uh, decidimos hacerlo diferente como muchos están allá. We are actually going to add real hair on this guy. Vamos a aumentarle pelo de adeveras a este cuate. No tiene que ser en todos lados. It doesn't have to be everywhere, but just enough to give it the hair look. I'm using crazy glue. Me utilicé cola loca. Okay, so this is what I got so far. So lo que tengo ahorita. Uh, I'll trim it later and actually burn it with a torch to make it look uh, more realistic. Y luego lo voy a quemar con una antorcha para que se vea más real. Okay, before I continue with the hair, antes de con seguir con el pelo, uh, I'm going to paint these guys uh, chrome. Voy a pintar esas uh, partes color cromo. Then I can go in with the hair. Ya luego podré entrar con el Con el pelo. I'm going to spray it black. Vamos a pintarlo negro, brilloso, gloss black. I'm going in with the uh, mirror chrome. Very lightly, muy suavecito. Okay, so here he is with the hair. Now we're going to trim it. Vamos a darle su corte. Y luego lo quemamos. And then we'll burn him. Okay, let's burn some hair. This is yak hair, so... Okay, I covered the uh, chrome area because I'm going to spray it with matte finish. Uh, tapé la área del cromo porque voy a sprayarlo con el... Uh, sellador and that will cause the chrome to just get flat and look horrible uh, but I'm just you know getting all the hair so it flans out and at least get stiff okay we're gonna add some, uh, some capillaries vamos a ponerle unas venitas bien delgaditas Que se vea un poco más real. I put a little dowel on these guys, so I'll glue them in here. Voy a pegar con este 5 minute epoxy, el pegamento de 5 minutos. So, let's drill. adding a little bit of brown and black I guess to create a little bit of rust looking. Estoy poniendo café oscuro con negro para que se vea como que están un poco oxidados. Okay, so here are the teeth. Aquí están los dientes. Pero lo que voy a hacer yo este 
uh, what's it? The acrylico. I'm gonna make them out of acrylic. But instead of molding this, which I could, I have some teeth here. Tengo dientes aquí, so I'm just gonna add that to the uh, uh, epoxy putty. No más voy a, a poner esos dientes de, de acrylic, acrílico. Eh, es como se dice. Con este, esta pasta. Y este. Okay, so here are the teeth. Uh, I added some uh, brown on them. Uh, I figured Frankenstein, you know, has been dead, so he hasn't been able to brush them. Uh, ahí están los dientes. Le puse un poco este café para que este se vean, bueno, jodidos, porque pues Frankenstein ha estado muerto, así que no se los ha podido lavar. Alright, so now we're going to paint the eyes. Vamos a pintar los ojos. Alright, I got the eyes going uh, and I'm going to do all these little lines in there. Voy a hacer unas líneas por todos lados para hacerlos más real. Okay, here are the eyes. They're brown, so it's kind of hard to see all the little lines. It's difficult to see las líneas porque es, es café oscuro. Uh, now I'm going to go in with the epoxy and that should make them pop. Vamos a ponerle el, el pegamento de 5 minutos, 5 minute epoxy, and they'll come to life. Right guys, so here he is. Aquí está amigos. Till next time. Till la próxima.